Good morning, good morning, good morning. Say hi. You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? Good morning. Good morning. Old Domino is happy because the weather is cooling down. It is absolutely gorgeous here on the mountain. It got a little cold last night, to say the least. Uh, so today, uh, I am going to fill up all the propane tanks. I've got four of the 100-pound propane tanks there. Uh, one of them is still full. I just switched it out for the hot water heater. Uh, that ended up lasting about a year uh, for the hot water heater for one of those 100-pound tanks, which wasn't bad. Um, but, of course, uh, winter, I go through a lot more propane. And I don't have the gas line and stuff ran yet because I'm not ready for that part. Um, so I'm using the 100 gallon tanks, which I've got plenty of them now. So I don't have to worry about running out and everything. I'll put one on the cabin heater and one on the tiny house heater. Then, uh, then I will have one on the hot water heater and I'll have one extra that will be full that I can switch out if one of them runs out to buy me time to be able to go and uh, get more propane. So I need to go do that today. And uh, also go get some more uh, fuel for the generator. Uh, you can hear the generator running now in the uh, background. It's the first time I crank up the generator since uh, two days ago. Um, now that I'm not having to run the air conditioner, which takes a lot of power, I don't have to run the generator as much to keep the batteries charged up. So uh, it's looking like I can go about two days before I have to uh, crank the generator for about two hours, three hours to kind of charge back up the backup batteries and stuff. And uh, I do have a couple more solar panels that I'll be installing, which should cut that down even more. It's definitely uh, really, really cut down on the expense of gas here on the mountain, even this summer. Uh, running it two or three hours a day versus all day every day has definitely saved me a lot of the jangle to say the least um, on that here real real soon for sure I'm gonna be moving a lot of this over there to the pergola area uh, I'll be working on that tomorrow just as soon as I get the propane and all of that stuff set up uh, here on the mountain because it's supposed to get into the lower 30s again tonight It's gonna warm up again next week. It's gonna get back up into the 80s and lows of the 50s. So I won't really need uh, The propane only for pretty much this weekend and then it'll warm back up It's not to the point yet where it's gonna be cold cold uh, consistently yet, but I want to kind of get ahead of it and uh get set up it's been getting down into the uh, 30s this week and I haven't had to really run the heater in the tiny house at all uh, when I'm sleeping and stuff like that it's been holding temperature pretty good uh, it's very well insulated so that is definitely definitely helps I am uh, definitely ready for winter I went through last winter in the tiny house and everything and everything worked flawlessly and great so i'm not really stressing winter uh this year at all because i set up pretty good for it last year uh, my biggest concern right now is trying to get that land cleared for the shop i'm hitting dead end after dead end after dead end if any of y'all are in my area and know anybody that does dozer work uh let me know because uh, I can't seem to uh, find anybody that's got a working dozer. Uh, the guy that initially did the work out here um, still hasn't got his fixed. He also has chicken house, and uh, that's been taking all of his time. And then I had the other dozer people, my rock guy, the one that delivered the rock out there, um, he came out finally and gave me a quote or his people that runs his dozers came out and gave me a quote and they said they was on a job right down the road for about a week so i called him last week to see hey if we could set up a date and let's get this going it was quite a bit more money it's a bigger dozer 
but uh, at this point I'm desperate and uh, running out of time here and uh, then I called him to ask him that and their dozers broke down and they have no idea when they're gonna get it and also has a couple other equipment like a rock truck and some other stuff uh, so yeah I can't seem to get a dozer <laughs> and uh you know that little bit of clearing I did last week or whatever really hurt Uber so I don't want to try to use Uber anymore to do clearing so uh, yeah I don't know if if I can't get a dozer here soon I'm gonna have to push the shed project uh, until spring um, it is what it is I would like to get it get it done but at the same time I'm not gonna pay too much money um, just to get it done um, I was already like I said it was pretty much double the price of the other dozer that I was about to pay but now it's broke down too so maybe it'll work out maybe it won't I don't know frustrating though definitely frustrating so that's why y'all haven't seen any progress on building the shop uh, I'm actually about to get another storage solution which uh, will be coming out on come on homestead today y'all will see that I can't believe that uh that's happening but it is y'all have to go check it out over there um which will definitely help uh give me a little bit more storage which is good because right now i mean that's the whole theme right now is storage and uh organization and stuff like that and i'm slowly chipping away at it here you see midnight in the background meowing um just trying to get everything organized before winter and uh get things uh put up before winter comes and that way things don't have to spend the year in, in outside in the winter with the snow and everything again this year so we'll see how it all works out um also been thinking about selling my boat uh i don't use it that much i like fishing but i'm not a huge fisherman i'm not that great at fishing honestly i do enjoy it but uh that boat's not really easy for me to take out by myself it's pretty heavy trailer's pretty long it takes up a lot of space and the worst thing to do with boats is not use them um, for the motors and stuff like that and i just i just don't have time to take it out as much as it's worth so i'm thinking about selling the boat uh, to free up space for me um, put a little jingle in my pocket to put on other ventures uh, that i want to do around here so I don't know. Look, <laughs> sitting there in the shade, right by the sun, America. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it all works out. Uh, and as far as the Jeep, I know y'all been asking about the Jeep. Uh, that deal didn't end up going through. I guess uh, I didn't really hear anything else back from from them. It was supposed to happen, and the dates shifted a few times and stuff, and then it just never came to fruition um they got a lot going on and stuff so i just maybe it's just not a right time for them or something like that but uh so i still have the jeep uh the jeep's paid for so it ain't hurting nothing sitting there uh, i haven't decided if i'm gonna post it and sell it or if i'm going to keep it uh margarita's daughter is about to get her license and uh so i don't know we'll see uh it would actually be a very good vehicle for margarita because she likes to go camping and hiking and all of that kind of stuff and uh her car can't make it up to the mountain and stuff so maybe we end up doing something like that maybe giving the car to uh her daughter and uh, margarita driving the jeep or or something like that i don't know i don't know there's options there's options um Let's see here. Uh, Drew put his video out. I talked about that yesterday. Um, and I got a video that's about that. A little bit about that uh, today. Uh, about the whole concrete pour and stuff. I'm so excited for Drew. Um, Drew needs a shop so bad. He loves old cars and mechanic in and stuff. That's kind of his thing. You know. And uh, I was a shade tree mechanic for a long time working on stuff outside up underneath oak trees and stuff there in florida and laying in the dirt fixing things and losing bolts and nets and stuff like that in the dirt so to have a shop is a game changer uh, hopefully i can get mine done too um, that would definitely help me out a lot here on the mountain 
uh we are getting close to levi coming uh like i said every day gets closer i talked about it yesterday uh monday monday morning levi will be in arkansas and i'm i'm excited margarita was going to try to take off to go to the airport with me but she's unable to so it'll just be me going to the airport to pick up levi um margarita is coming this weekend we're going to be going for a ride uh we might uh, go with country road cure and roxanne um, if their schedule permits uh, we're trying to work that out now um, pops is coming back for the weekend uh, he's on his way back from california from seeing his kids and grandkids and i've been in contact with him we're going to get together and have lunch or breakfast or dinner or something together see him as he swings through um, it's been really nice meeting pops and getting to know him a little bit more personally than just online and uh so definitely gonna uh, see him this weekend as well i uh, think uh maybe while we're out on our ride sunday i think we'll probably meet up for lunch or something with him um i talked to him this morning um a lot of stuff going on though a lot of stuff going on um no big building projects yet. Uh, I'm trying to not start nothing too huge until I find out about what's going on with the shop. Um, I am going to work in this area that we're sitting in right now, the pergola. Like I said, I'm going to put the rock down. Um, I got some more stuff for the pergola, which y'all will see in today's video. I'll come on homesteading. And I also need to set a... I'm going to make a little ledge right there at the back of the cabin to be able to put the propane tanks on and stuff. And also going to be putting a mini split uh, with heat and air um, on the cabin right after uh, right after the fishing trip uh, sometime. So that's coming here soon. So there's definitely a lot of projects. There just ain't no big projects. Uh, I would like to put the windows in on the tiny house this coming up week with Levi. I hope that works out. Uh, I'm not going to force it um, if the schedule doesn't work out because, you know, he's only going to be here a couple of days before the fishing trip. But I know he wants to do a father-son project, so I'm thinking that would be a good one, us, me and him putting the windows into the tiny house there and go ahead and get that project uh, buttoned up. And then the tiny house is pretty much done on the inside until the addition of it. So, might try to check that off the list. It'd be fun to do a project with my son. Um, I love working with my son and teaching him things and stuff like that. And he's been helping me do remodels and stuff like that since he was 12 years old. And uh, he enjoys coming up here and doing little projects with his dad here and there like the old days. So, uh I'm going to talk to him about that and see if he's down. And if he's down, I'm down. And uh, we'll probably get the windows in there and uh, give Margarita a little view at her desk there when she's in here working, uh, when she's staying on the mountain during the week. So that'd be pretty cool. Hopefully we can get that done. But I think that's going to be about it for today, guys. Just giving you all a rundown on what's in the brain today. Uh, I need to get these propane tanks loaded and get to town. And uh, they're not open on the weekend, so I got to do it during the week and uh i need to get propane here on the mountain i'm also going to put a different heater in the cabin this year uh, the one that was in there did not have a thermostat so it just ran all the time and it would get way too hot in there it was too much of a heater for that cabin to be honest um so i'm gonna get another heater that's like in the tiny house there that has a thermostat and uh put it in the cabin that way it'll kick on and off and won't use so much propane that was one of my big propane drains last year was the cabin um and being that i'm not living in the cabin i'm only working in the cabin now um i would like something that would kind of kick on and off and just kind of maintain the temperature and save a little bit of propane because propane is expensive um i've had a lot of people uh, tell me to switch my generators to propane and stuff and that's not good um propane costs more than gas um at this point and the generators are not as strong when you're running off propane and stuff and it, they're just a whole lot harder to uh, go fill up and everything else until you get a big big tank out here and buy it in bulk and i'm not ready for that yet so we're getting there that's where we're at but i love every single one of y'all hopefully y'all are having a great week doing something nice for somebody taking another step closer to your goals but definitely guys keep it real come on <laughs>